What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Hello, I am back. Um, this today we're gonna have a double upload, and as you can see right now, um, after hearing that awesome, awesome intro, um, that I am back on some BF4, some Battlefield 4, and um, the gameplay isn't the greatest, but uh, I find sniping on Battlefield 4 to be one of the greatest things in the game. Uh, I don't know if it's just me or if this goes with a lot of people, but it's just that feeling of having to go into cover, you know, dip out, maybe shoot through the wall with snipers, back and forth, you know, training shots, landing headshots, getting those ribbons, wrecking in all the points. It's just, it feels so good. Anyway, um, so instead of bantering on like I usually do at the start, I'm going to get straight into the story, and today's story is my scariest moment in my life, and, um, no, take note, uh, I'm probably going to have some crazier experiences, but for now, this definitely takes a cake for my most uh, scariest moment of my life. And um, this was a little bit back, I think it was Halloween 2013, yeah. And so, um, pretty much Halloween. All the time, um, for whatever reason, you know, this year it was raining. Um, I was going to go with the whole big group of people like I did the year before because it was so much fun you know everyone has such a great time um, we didn't get all too much lollies or candy or anything but um, when you get older you know you start forgetting about the candy and you sort of just go out some people take, and take it as an opportunity to dress up really um, exposing their body I've seen a lot of girls doing that uh, I'm not saying it's all girls but a lot of girls have done that undeniably and um, so I don't I don't dress up. Uh, usually what I do is I just take a sword out or something, a uh, Nerf sword, not like an actual sword. I'm not crazy. Okay, so um, I don't really dress up that much, and I guess that might have helped a bit for this. Um, so I was with two of my good friends. Um, actually, one of them was my best friend, and the other one was one of his friends that he decided to bring along. And so um, we live about a 30 minute walk from the best place in. Wellington to go to Halloween because you know it's where all the rich kids live you know there's a whole bunch of candy crazy shit goes down you know there's always cops patrolling the streets you know it's just it's fun it's awesome and so um you know it starts raining uh we leave at about 7 no 6 5 30 to 6 p.m um and by then you know the sun is already going down so we're leaving it very late and we start heading down, and about 20 minutes into the walk, uh, I get a call from my mom, and she's like, you know, yo, what's up? Uh, your brother's gone missing, it's like, can you help find him? And I'm like, I haven't got time to find my brother, like, he can get lost for, like, yeah, at this point in time, Halloween is awesome. I'm not gonna let him make me have to go and hunt him down. Um, because usually my brother, he does uh, tag along with me. He's done that in previous years, but this year he decided to go out with his group of friends a lot earlier. They left at about four, so, you know, they had already gone, they already done their stuff, but he hadn't texted our mum or anything like that, so uh, he, he was completely out of the picture. Um, I didn't actually look for him at all, but um, around seven-ish, it began to really pour down, so, um, you know, we are walking. Um, to get to this good area, you have to go through a tunnel. And this tunnel is notorious for pedestrians getting destroyed by eggs, flour, fucking everything, dude. Okay, so if you walk through that, you are a walking duck, you're a target. People will drive by in their cars and they will lob as much as they can at you. And um, I've personally experienced this before. People, they also ambush people in tunnels as like pranks um, until someone gets punched in the face. But um, yeah, so we are walking through the tunnel and... We, oh, okay. surprisingly, we don't get hit by anything because we decide to sprint through the tunnel. Um, usually it's a two to three minute walk through this tunnel, so you can imagine it's a very, uh, well, a decently long tunnel. Um, takes a couple of minutes to walk through it. We took about 45 seconds of full sprint. Because it's a straight tunnel, uh, there's no curves or anything. So we just sprinted it straight. Um, we got out of the tunnel, we're like, yeah, that was awesome. We didn't get hit by anything, um, even though there were a few cars patrolling. And we're aware that every Halloween there are these dudes who will go in their cars with the sole purpose of egging people. And so, um, 
yeah, so we arrive at this intersection where so much stuff goes down. Uh, there's a dairy there, and he has to lock everyone out unless they're an adult, or something like that, or um, if it's a kid with an adult. Um, because all the kids, they go in there, they buy eggs, they buy flour, they buy toilet paper, and they just lob it everywhere, you know. Um, the cops come, people are lobbing eggs at their cars, they're tossing flour and egg and water and toilet paper on their cars and stuff. You know, this is a four-way intersection. It gets very, very busy, and there are these kids just trying to make it as dangerous as possible. I don't know if they wonder, if they realize that they will probably get hit if a car skids out of control in their direction. But um, anyway, so we go there, um, and everyone's doing the same stuff as last time, but um, there's not many people there because it's raining. And, you know, a couple cop cars show up, they break up the party, everyone scatters, so we run back through the tunnel. And um, through this time, through the tunnel, we're like, yo, uh, it's raining pretty hard, I guess we should stay in the tunnel for a little bit. Hopefully the rain will die down when we get out. You know, that's our mindset. And so we stayed in the tunnel. And we decided um, that it was taking too long for the rain. We're just gonna, we're just gonna boost it home. And so, this is insane. Okay, so as we're leaving, if we left about 10 seconds earlier, this would have not, this never would have happened. But um, anyway, so this black car with two teen, uh, like 20-year-olds, uh, drives through the tunnel. They start lobbing eggs at us, and we dodge all the eggs because we're fucking ninjas and we run out of the tunnel, but they are going in the same direction that we are. And so what they do um, is they, you know, they come to a skidding stop, they do a little U-turn, and then they try and lob eggs at us, and then my friend, uh, well, uh, my, so there's my best friend, and then my other, f my best friend's friend. Um, so yeah, uh, his best, uh, my best friend's friend, he walks up to the car that's pulled over, and he's like, yo, if you guys try and egg it up again, I got your license plate, I'm going to call the cops on you guys. Because, um, you know, it's 2013. Uh, we're not that old, we just got into college, or uh, well, high school for some people. You... Um, so, you know, we're not that old, we're not going to try and tussle with 20-year-olds. Because we, we, we're sane, okay? We're sane. And so these guys are like... Oh, okay, you know, that's cool, uh, we'll just go terrorize some other kids. And he's like, yeah, that's right, fuck off. And I don't know why he said that, but <laughs> when he did, he yelled it as loud as he could. And these two teen, these, oh, I keep calling them teenagers, they look like teenagers, but you could tell that they're way too hairy. Okay, so, <laughs> so these 20 year olds, they turn their car around again, they come over to where my friend was, and they step out of the car, and we're just like, oh shit, like, we have to run now. And so, um, so where we were at the time was, there was just a bunch of houses. There was one road and just a bunch of houses. And so we're like, bro, fuck this. So we instantly and instinctively, we just run, and these, uh, we look behind us, we see these dudes chasing us, and we're like, dude, we need to lose these guys. And so, you know, we are hopping fences, we are running, we're going through the undergrowth, you know, we are going, like, this, our life depends on it. Um, these guys probably, in reality, they wouldn't have done much, um, because we still had their license plate, even, like, in the back of our heads. We could call the cops, and, um, so, you know, it's raining as well, so we are running around, we're going through other people's properties, you know, we are jumping their fences. These other dudes are still chasing us, and we're just like, shit, 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 fuck, like, we need to get out of here. And so, uh, what we do is we um, we actually pull up to a cul-de-sac, uh, we pop in our fences, we come to a cul-de-sac and we're just like, dudes, split and we'll meet back over here. And so we do that, we split up, you know, we're still hopping fences. About a minute later, we all come uh, together under a shelter and none of us have the guys tailing us and we're just like, yo, like, what the fuck just happened? And um, yeah, and so my friend who originally told them to get lost, you know, fuck off, get screwed, you know, go away, um, he's just like, dude, I, I'm not gonna die for this, and he's like, he calls the cops, and he's like, yo, you know, we're in blah, 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 we're on this street, um, we're hiding, cause there are these two 20 year olds in a black car with eggs, and they're hunting us down through the neighborhood, and, uh, the cop cars show up, and we actually see them pull over these dudes later, but, um, yeah, we're, we're just like, you know what, safety numbers, let's go. And so we're sort of still cautious, we're still wary, and we're trying to hop fences. 
And then we come to a dead end. We just come to a house with a huge concrete white wall and it's slippery. It's not the sort of concrete that's grippy at all. And so we're like hopping up, we're trying to grab onto it. And this lady comes out and she's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And she starts, like, she calls the cops on us. And we're just like, no, no, wait, we're hiding. Like, we're trying to get away from these other dudes. And she will not listen. She's like, she's coming down the stairs now, you know, she's got her husband and her kids and stuff with her. And so we're just like, no, we have to leave. And so we, um, we go back the way that we came and we get on back onto the main street and we see the cops next to this black car. And we're just like, yes. And it's like, yo, we're free to go. And then we see these two dudes staring us down and we're just like, uh, yeah, we should probably leave fast. So, uh, we, uh, sh long story short, we run all the way back home, you know, we're exhausted and tired, we're so happy that we're alive, um, never felt more exhilarated or, like, my adrenaline was just pumping constantly in that moment. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy story, um, there will be more to come and... Uh, yep, yeah. uh, I'm gonna have a double upload so you can expect another video up later today. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I'm gonna leave the links to all my social medias and stuff down below. You guys can follow it, like it, and all that good stuff. Um, Ben's Instagram, YouTube channel, and first YouTube video, I will link to those three in the description as well, as per usual. Um, they do have a new video coming out soon. Uh, stay tuned for that in the last video. You can check that out if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.